The Chamber and the Clan aren't the same thing in Cypress Knee. Well, yeah, we were being racist. <laughs> no, sir, we got at least three Jews and two and a half Cubans in the chamber. Maxine es Esposito's mother is Chinese, you see. Sure. It's like being like, I'm not racist, I have a black friend. You'd still be racist. You could, it, it is possible. That big development across the road could boost chief roadsides. Maybe. Might be the last nail in our coffin, too. Of course, they might buy me out. That'd be fine. He keeps going southern. All these people just... I, this is like the voice inflection that I can do for men. Make them British or southern. Russian. That's it. Can't do much variety. Hi, Mom. She was... Was she the one that was, like, I was doing, like, a Jewish mother voice for? Stereotypical Jewish mother? I don't remember. Keith! My name is Keith? Oh my gosh, that's adorable! I'm sorry, it just it struck me as really cute. Keith Galloway Gatiss! You're home for the first time in, what, five years and I have to hear it from Chief Pendleton's wife? Sorry, Mom. I meant to call. Got distracted. Sorry. Your work's important. I'm just an old, retired mama in an empty nest. Don't worry about me! Boy. This woman is... <laughs> um... Let's see, working a case. I'm in town, working on the tag current case. So sad, a life cut short like that. Reminds me of your father. That damn church did him in, too. Can we talk about that? I'm no fan of the church of us, but it might have been might have been the spurned girlfriend who got him killed. I'm off to the festival. Come find me when you get back. When you get a break, even. I won't leave town without seeing you. Better not. You'll make your mama cry. Don't worry. I know I'm a hard ass, but I still love my mama. Come on, Buford. K.C. Gaines, it's been too long, man. Good to see you again. Cynical response. All it took to bring me back was a corpse on a rope. You still play much mass maps and mischief? Dungeons and Dragons, I would assume. And yes, sometimes when I get the chance, it's still fun. If you want to move back, now's the time. Golden Cypress awaits. Yeah, that project keeps coming up. Something special. Everyone thinks it's gonna turn Cypress knee back into a boom town. I hope that works out. Oh, oh, hey, oh, yeah, what? Boss tells us you left town a long time ago. Boss thinks maybe you should have stayed left. <laughs> what? Cynical response, that's what that needs. Is this the part where you threaten me with bodily harm if I don't scram, vamoose, skedaddle? Nope, it's the part where I mention how sad it'd be if anything should happen to that mud of yours. You leave Buford out of this. Touch my dog and I'll end you. Your family, your friends, your postman, your barber, even your proctologist. That's how I respond if somebody tried to hurt my dog in real life. You've been warned, Gatiss. Good talk. Thanks for the pep talk, Tweedledee. Come on, Buford, we don't need this shit. <sighs> Excuse me, I keep yawning during these. I'm really not bored, I'm just, I just yawn a lot. It's just who I am. Better check those receipts. <clears throat> Boost? Uh, 
I don't know. I feel like since he's like not a reporter, that I don't need to be edgy or inflammatory about these things. So we'll do this. Sorry, I've, I've been being lazy about reading those aloud to you. Yeah, well, you're a fat-faced old man with a bad haircut. Deflect. At least I don't get my hair color from a bleach bottle. Shut your face, geezer. Careful, Jack. This kitty's got claws. I don't have time for your... Oh, okay. I don't have time for you geriatrics anyway. I'm taking a look at that tower. Nothing to see there. Nothing to see there now. Curran's at the morgue by now. Oh yeah, because there could never be any other evidence. I'm going up there for reasons. Shut up. Waffle? I think we should check it out. Hey, you want a peek at the tower? Go for it. I'd just as soon grab a smoke and a beer and call it a night. It's a death trap. Seriously? Maybe the universe is trying to tell you something. Never been a fan of following instructions. I'll just track down Remy and see if I can get that... Get me... that. Yeah, see if he can get me up that tower. Later, old dudes. Oh, you're running again. That's just me. So. Are we get to be back with her? With Ramona? I like Ramona. She's my favorite character. I just. Cause she's just so sassy. Tower's gone dark. Probably because something's up there and the bad guys don't want us to know. If I can't find who's really behind this madness, Lenny won't ever cut me loose from fan rage. Maybe it was the greasy fast food I ate on the road last night that I had such a nightmare. Fell through emptiness, just plain empty, tumbled off a boat. Go tumbled off a boat. Slipped and fell into a churning sea. And I raged. Shouted at the universe about the unfairness of it all. Yeah, that seems like her personality. Pretty clearly. And then... The universe? This is like one of those, like, oh, what a Mad Libs. <laughs> the universe told me I'd get all pruny in my watery grave. Well, fuck that universe. He doesn't know us. But Remy does. Leap and Lizard's extravaganza. Hot damn. <clears throat> Remy bet you didn't know that the ancient Greeks called lavender Nardus? Strange response for a strange response. Greeks got Nards? Well, okay, that was a sad response right there. Old Remy just jam packed. Old Remy just jam packed with youth useful facts like that. Got any useful facts about the tower? It went dark, and I want to get up there and look around. You help Remy? Could be Remy help you. What have you got in mind? Remy, take care of the gator pit here at Chief Roadsides. Right now, it's time to feed old Jumper. Doesn't ring a bell. He's a star attraction around here. Big old gator. Crowd star attraction. Never heard of him. Are you sure he's okay? That looks like he's swimming in toxic waste, and that doesn't seem like a good thing. You're lost, Cher. Oh man, I wish I could do a Cajun accent. That would be the best thing. Good news is, ain't too late to fix that. What's this jumper eat? People. Big old jumper can't resist tasty chicken in a diaper. Pick up that, uh, pick up what we need from the fun and fuel. 
What's so appealing about chicken in a diaper? Looks like a chubby little infant to that old gator. Gets him hungry every time. Back soon. <laughs> Runs away. Just sprints. Just, just sprints away from that. So he basically does like to eat people, but since people taste like chicken, he can't tell the difference. This is this the gift shop? I didn't realize. Interesting that you turned up about Mr. Kern's lady. F what you turned up about Mr. Kern's lady friend? Not sure how you got it, but I think Ozzy and I will talk it over with Miss Gray ASAP. Reciprocate. Throw a few information crumbs in my way, and yeah, bad. I'm getting worse. I apologize for my inability to read. Throw a few information crumbs my way in return, if you can. That's not how I operate, Miss Teague. Whatever. See if I help you again. So I was reading your blog. You picked up some interesting tidbits about our little, our little town. I do what I can to keep it fresh. Not sure if you knew this, but folks say Thomas Heck, one of our founders, was descended from those Irish travelers. Family name used to be Hickley, I hear. Heck. Did he say golly, gosh, and darn a lot? You okay there, buddy? You missed your cue? Whoa! Good to see you've got your boy billet on a tight leash. Can you say the same about the blogger girl? We've got an ace in the hole waiting for her. Don't sweat it. Ooh, sinister dealings. This is the first time we have been outside one of our characters' points of view, which is a little odd. Like, unless she heard that conversation, which I don't think she did. Remy, bet you didn't know that a baby uses 6,000 6, diapers in the first two... Oh, hey, Cher. Confused. So you don't really need my help. Remy, just need to see what you do, Cher. Help all... Appreciated, always. Testing me? Not really in the mood for games. Don't be grumpy, Cher. Suddenly he's saying Cher a lot. I feel like he wasn't in his previous dialogue. It's like, did he change writers, or are we supposed to notice this? Let Remy show you feeding time with old Jumper. Happy to watch, but let's hear what else you know first. Ah, right. Remy, deliver on promise. Cops got the teepee tower closed off. Took fuse from the elevator. Old Jim Larriman got a spare if you want to look at the crime scene. Where is Larriman now? Remy bet you find him in Rabbit's Run, Sh Cher. Big plum the big plumento maze. Plumetto maze. Keeps his supplies out there. Now, Jumper? Might as well. Remy bet you didn't know that that uh, know what drove old Gallant into, the, Gallant into the swamps all those years ago. Boy, I can't read. It's pretty bad. Big old Gator named Merle mistook Gallant's wee baby for a diaper chicken. Gator did something that I didn't find out. Okay, Gator got away off yonder into the swamp. Gallant, he ain't been right since. I'm sad that we didn't get to see the gator eat the diaper chicken. Animation budget couldn't afford that. Whee! Whee! Put your hands in the air. It's more fun. Ugh. I feel like Ramana here is the only one who's actually like getting any information about things. Like everybody else is just floundering. Maybe it's because I'm playing them so badly. I don't know. Galant. <clears throat> Go.
Kern's not the story. His girlfriend's not news either. Go on. What's the story the way you see it? Those crazy weists, the movie people, even the town politics, they're all in on a new development that's going to destroy my home. Weists and actors and bureaucrats, oh my. How did they hide it? By distracting people like you with dead actors. That's dash cunning. The world needs to know about the travesty of gold and cypress kids. That kid, thousands of homes, retail shops, and a natural gas pipeline. Destructive. Those sound like to throw it a lot to throw at a swamp. Much worse than ha some has been actor not sharing my oxygen anymore. Did you ever find the gator that ate your baby? At least it wasn't dingoes. Ate my boy, took my wife's arm, now she wears a hook, crop follows her around, ticking like a clock. Wait, big old bino bastard named Merle. No, ain't caught him. Not yet. Where's she now? No idea, she left town, never heard from her again. She had to flee the crocodile. So, sorry, he's a gator, not a crocodile. Pretty sure. Incoming text. Galance alone. Not alone. He's in good company. Going to the tower. What even? I'm taking a walk on a plumetto maze. In a plumetto maze. The chief's not going to like it. So, don't care. Stay safe. I'm still a big fan. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Like I said, a big fan. Strange response. He's been about as helpful as dentures on a doll. Time to make, time to make the clickbait. The hits just keep coming. Alrighty. So, I feel like uh, this Golden Cypress thing is becoming even more of a big deal. Beyond the frenzy in the wake of Tag Kern's death, a Cypress Knee local wants to save the swamp. Jefferson Dean Gallant alleges that the actor's death is just a silver smoke screen, screen for the conspiracy to ram through the Golden Cypress development. The homes and retail offer, offerings could revolutionize the t or revitalize even the town Gallant said but equated with covering but equated it with covering up a dog turd with gold spray paint he never said that but I can just quote him it's a blog we go with edgy whoops edgy edgy report Lenny didn't like that story. Lenny Spruce, what is the, what's this local development bullshit on my blog, Phaedra? Forbes? What's Forbes? I'm sorry, it was the only option I had, or I would have posted about the murder. It kind of was about the murder. Said that it was all a scam, like distracting him with a dead actor. Keeping busy tonight, huh? I don't remember what voice I gave him either. Always busy. The beast always needs feeding. Ew. I'm following up on a tip. Got a fuse for the tower? Hey now, look. I doubt the cops want civvies stomping around up there. <clears throat> Get the cops. Don't let them stand in the way of facts. What the hell? Just don't tell them I gave it to you. I don't want to lose what little I've got here. Thanks, hot stuff. Install fuse. Oh, goody, another puzzle. Okay, um, how does this work? Do I have to keep the lines going? Can I turn these? I can't turn these. Hmm. Hmm. 
Where's the green? Green's gotta go down there. If this takes me too long, I will, uh, bingo. I will, uh, cut it out. Bingo. It only took forever. Tower comes back to life. I don't think that's how real fuse boxes work, by the way. Just gonna put that out there. That's more like it. Couldn't we have just gotten a flashlight? This is really, like, unsubtle. Okay, you take care up there. Long way to fall if you trip. Don't worry, I'll tie a rope around myself. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no! Punched! And knifed! Oh crap! Once again, breaking the rules bites me right in the ass! Dude got knifed. Somebody help. I'll get help. I'll make whoever did this pay. I'm sorry. Run! Run, bitch! You shouldn't be snooping around here, Miss Teague. Somebody got stabbed. Jim Larriman's been stabbed. He's in the maze. Suspect ran this way. Same person who probably killed Tag Kern. I'm making a great leap of assumption here. He likes to knife people. He also must have hung somebody. If we catch if we catch him, maybe he'll turn evidence against Miss Gray here. You've got it all. Is nobody gonna go help the knifed guy? You've got it all wrong. I didn't do anything. I never hurt Tag. Knifed guy, though. Are we sure that he's dead? He's, he seems pretty, like, still alive. Uh-oh. Dodge, Ramona, dodge! Save Tina! Go! Watch it! I'm saving my prime suspect. That's what kind of person I am. I'm still here! Look at that mangled. Seems that way. So you believe me? Uh, strange response. I believe that you believe you're still here. I'm riddled with existential doubt. Making a dangerous choice here. I don't know what's waiting up top. So I'm just gonna leave the knife guy. Apparently he's just dead. Did we check his pulse? I don't think so. He could be bleeding over there. All right. If I want the rest of the story, I'm going to have to find it. I'm not going to find it down here. I hope I live long enough to make another post. Up we go. Go, Ramona. I probably made the wrong choice saving what's her face, but I didn't really like the sheriff, and I don't even remember who the other guy was, so. Everybody's probably going to think I'm in on it because I saved, like, the prime suspect. See if I care. Get back here, knifey McStabberson. Damn it, you are persistent. 
Must be in the blood. Strange response, Tony. Better be careful running around in Florida in a hoodie. Sure. Everything I've done has been for the good of the church of us. Murders? How does killing Kern and Larriman help your church? The church held a significant insurance policy on Mr. Kern's life. Suicide would nullify it. Murder, on the other hand, means millions. We owe you so much for helping bring his crime to light. You used me to fatten the church coffers? She looks like she's gonna hulk out. If you'd like, I'll be happy to. Beat, punch, kick. <laughs> Share the wealth, turn your torpid town into a dynamic engine for modern commerce. Even if you could keep your dealings well, our dealings well concealed. Have little faith, you look. Church won't let us down. It's not the church I'm worried about. Ramona T could... Wreck it all if you want. But that'd be a mistake. The church can make you rich. We can be a powerful ally and a devoted friend. I've seen what the church does to its friends, all in the name of greed. Greed. You've graduated from the kiddie pool. We're swimming in the big blue sea, and it's not... All bad. All of them? And if we can't stop their schemes, we'll lose the church, the Cypress Swamp. They'll obliterate our sacri sacred tribal lands. Damn it. We can't do this on our own. Between the crazed cult fanatics and the dirty politicians, we're totally outgunned. The spirits won't be won't abide this madness, and that blogger girl can help us. She's just got to get your mind right. We're so much closer than you think, Ramona. Let me help you. Let me try to make up for all those lost years. Lost years? I think your brain's overheating, old man. She thinks people are old a lot. How old are you, Ramona? Casey Gatiss got it all wrong 20 year ago, years ago. Boyd Connor's not your father. I never loved your mother, but she pleased me, and she proved useful to getting Conover out of my way. Why would Mom lie to me all this time? Shame, I expect. The burden of a troubled conscience. Conscience, I'm not so weak. Yeah, you are. You know what? Strange response time. I sure hope Courtney fed my goldfish. Just remember, little girl, immortality is the only option. Why would he do that? Why claim he's my father, then jump to his death? Why do any of this? It makes no sense. So much blood on his hands, and it goes back years. He used me to get what he wanted, just like he used Casey Gatiss. Gatiss? Well, Gatiss isn't much of a martyr. He wrecked Mom's life, and poor Boyd Conover got caught in the crossfire. Immortality is, o is the only option? I've heard that bit of weeist gibberish before. That's two prominent members of the Church of Us dead in one day at Chief Roadsides. Not good for their sales brochure. What bitch, eh? Rutledge bet you didn't know that neutering a ferret too young. Whoa. 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 Causes them to get cancer. So I say snip the ferret babies. Right, Jumper? Jumper? Mosquitoes buzz. Shit, not again! Meanwhile, in Cypress Knees, Helen Moore, doctors examine the body of Tag Kern. That's odd. Tag Kern never got. Maybe I should give them funny accents. Alright, this guy is gonna be. I don't know if we'll ever see these guys again, so I'm gonna give them funny accents. That's odd. Tag Kern never got an appendectomy, according to his records, yet here's a scar. Huh. 
Remember Ray Joe Swayhill? He got an emergency appendectomy a few years back. Oh, right, yeah, so. He won a Tag Kern lookalike contest at the Founders Day Festival back in 1997. Wait, so everyone's freaking out about the wrong dead guy? Might be worse than that. Ray Joe's brother Jack is in draw three. Ozzy Clendening? Clendening? Called it in, in as an accidental death. So where's the real tag kern? Dun dun dun! Thank you, thank you. Hello, thank you for providing excellent performance. Knee deep act one, Wonderland. Restroom break. I suggest you take a piss. Hopefully the line's not too long. Maybe the thirst busting bottle of water wasn't a great idea. Remember where you're sitting and come back for the act two festival. The end for now. So what did you guys think? What did you think of the first part of Knee Deep? Um, I thought it was pretty interesting, definitely. I had a little trouble keeping track of characters, but I think that's a problem that I have as a person. Like, even when I read a book or something, sometimes I have trouble keeping track of which characters are which. Definitely had trouble keeping track of which characters I have given which ridiculous accent to, so there's that. Um, Gator's loose in the woods. I hope it chases down what's-his-name's wife and finishes the job, unless... It, but she has probably become a pirate with a hook for a hand and she'll be fine. Uh, yeah, so who is the real Tag Kern, and who the heck, and uh, what about Mr. Guy who just got stabbed? We don't care about him. And uh, hopefully Ramona will not get blamed for saving the girlfriend, uh, because actually, actually it's probably a really good thing that I saved the girlfriend, because now that we know that that's not Tag Kern, she might actually know where, where he is. Um, so yeah, obviously this game is episodic, and I feel like that's good and bad. And it's bad in that by the time we get to the next episode, I'll probably have forgotten a lot of the clues that I found out and the evidence that I've been building up, and I, I feel like that is kind of a bad thing for a mystery story to leave a large gap. Unless, it, unless it's going to remind us, unless it gives us like a recap, which I think would be really helpful. So maybe it'll do that, and I'm just being paranoid for nothing. But anyway, this was a fun... This was a really fun story-based uh, mystery type game, and I will definitely, when we get <laughs> when we get back, uh, you know, when part two comes out, I think I'll definitely be playing Buford, be playing it for you guys. If you are interested, let me know. And even if you're not interested, I don't care. I'll probably do it anyway, just because I want to. And I like doing funny voices, and I want to know what happens to Ramona and the racism. And this gator, and Buford. I probably made all the wrong choices, and you're probably screaming at your screen right now. These were all pre-recorded uh, before they went up online, so unfortunately, you you yelling at me had no effect. If you were if you were yelling at me for making the wrong choices, it did nothing. So, ha, 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 ha. I'm gonna play this game the way I want. That's right. You just have to deal. All right, well, I am going to go do something productive with my life um, until the next game comes out. I will see you all later. Bye.